Hello, hello everyone. It's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon and I'm here with Style 7, Moving Parts, Page Folios, Minis, Style 7. This one is featuring the Titanic collection. Look at how beautiful this is. I just absolutely love the way this one turned out. Are you ready for the inside of this, my friends? Look at this. Just take a look at it because it is just so, so fabulous. So this one is a bit of a collector collection, not necessarily something that I personally would use for photos, but I, my friends, am fascinated with the Titanic movie. I love the Titanic movie and fascinated with everything Titanic. Um, and this paper collection is no exception. You can find this in my shop. Although my sale is over, you can still pick this up 50% off and all of these projects because while I'm talking about uh, a project, it is always 50% off. Uh, this turned out gorgeous. I hope you love it. Look at how fun this frame here popping up. The heart of the ocean also popping up. We've got a side loading pocket here. These are loose photo mats. Because yes, if you've been to the Titanic Museum or anything Titanic, you can absolutely put photos in here. I personally have not been, but would love to go. And perhaps one day I will have something to put in this gorgeous um, a folio. So here is another top loading pocket. This flips down to reveal more fun Titanic uh, photos and just all sorts of fun things guys the collection has really really fun ephemera there is also another top loading pocket here that will host the four by six photos all right so look at this you can do four by six photos in here this way or this way and then this closes up then this side oh my gosh still all four by six photos. This is size for four by six photos. This is size for four by six photos. However, I did it up. And here we've got just a, a whole host of things here, my friends. Look at this, how fun these tickets, this, the luggage set. This opens up right here for some fun memorabilia. I forgot to put something in here, but we'll do this one here because it fits much better. Or you can do a photo, of course, if you have it right there. And then this is for a four by six photo. This, um, oh no, I glued it down by accident. This will also, oops, I forgot to mat this for four by six photos. Oh my gosh, Kathy King. Well, four by six photo, four by six photo. And then this closes up. This is a pocket up here for four by six photos photos as you can see so lots and lots of room for photos guys look at how ah oh, i just love love this and as i've been saying if this is not enough my friends we have got this this one is fun it's got an acetate pocket look at it we have got so much more to offer We've got this side loading pocket for four by six photos this way. We've got this short pocket for four by six photos this way or this way, whichever way you want to put them. And this opens up like so for more four by six photos. So how fun here and here and on the inside you've got. Let me lift this up so you can see that gorgeous paper. You've got opportunity for your four by sixes right here. Your four by sixes also fit in here. All right, in this fabulous acetate pocket right here, as you can see, those fit in there. You can fit a couple of uh, photos in there. And then the other side is exactly the same. Let me get this on there. I forgot to cut my string. See that sticking out there? Beautiful. Oh my gosh, these have been so much fun to make. So, so much fun. 
I, I have, I've had a blast. So this side opens up and you get the same thing, my friends. So this one, I did it up a little bit more with embellishments, right? So you get that. You can do three by fours here if you don't want to do the full four by sixes so you can see some of the fun stuff here. But of course, four by six, four by six, four by six, as you can see. This one, I put a little slot in so that we can put, see uh, some fun um, ephemera there. Uh, and then that same pocket on the inside for four by sixes. You can do a combination of three by four and four by six in here. And it's just stunning, my friends. So style seven, let me know what you think about style seven, because I am just in love with it. Dare I say that style seven is my favorite. And I will tell you why, because again, I love everything Thai Tannic. Love it. I know it's a tragedy, but I am fascinated with the time period. I'm also fascinated by the story and just everything that that surrounds this topic. Fascinated. So we've got seven gorgeous, gorgeous mini moving parts folios. This one I loaded up quite a bit. Here is style one. Again, style seven. Style two. Look at how beautiful these are. Style three, style four, I think, right? Yep, style five, I think I got these right. What is six? Six was, what was six? Where is it? What, wh do I got these wrong? I think I have these wrong. Halloween was hiding, style six. So these are gorgeous, my friends. And you want to know what is super fun about these. This is about style seven, but I just wanted to show you these. Uh, you can do a year in review. You want to know why? Because I'm going to make another five. And then I'm done with the moving parts page folios. I'm going to make another five. So you can have 12 and do a year in review. Okay. These are so quick and easy to make. And they are so um, instant gratification because you can do something like this in two hours. It is gorgeous. I take you through the process step by step in matting. I didn't uh, fast forward anything. I went through the entire process with you all. And this, my friends, is no exception. Look at how gorgeous this is. I just, oh my gosh, everything about this collection is stunning. I hope you love it as much as I do. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you love the Titanic collection, let me know as well. I'm curious to know if you are a fan like me. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. Thank you for joining me on this super, super fun ride here, creating these seven moving parts page folios with you guys. And I hope you enjoy. 